An investigation is underway in Interior Health after a health care worker allegedly made offensive comments in a patient's medical file. The man was stunned to see the comments he finds hurtful and derogatory after he was struggling with a work-related injury. CTV's Michelle Bernaro has the details. Robert Monroe spends much of his days in pain on his couch, but he'd rather be at work. I love it. I get to meet different people. He's worked as a furniture delivery person the past 14 years, but in December, he says he injured his back. All I felt was something in my back stretch and go pop. And he hasn't been able to work since. He filed a claim with WorkSafe BC and says last week he met with a physiotherapist at Royal Inland Hospital in Kamloops. Really nice and see my face, I know, eh? But when he checked his WorkSafe file online after the appointment, he says he was shocked to find what the physiotherapist had written, describing Monroe as redneck, hick to death, uneducated, seems to fear his own shadow, and saying, I think he's playing the system more than he should. He lives in Merritt and he has no license. Would not be surprised his uneducated, low-life style led him to a DUI. When I read that, I didn't know what to think. I was already down in the dumps due to me not working. And it wasn't right. CTV tried to reach the physiotherapist but did not hear back. Monroe filed a complaint with Interior Health, which says an investigation is underway and that the language from this transcript is not what we would expect from an Interior Health employee regarding a patient or client, and we will be following up on these concerns. WorkSafe BC said it couldn't comment on the specifics for privacy reasons, but it expects contractors to be respectful and considerate, and where the code of conduct has been breached, there will be a thorough investigation. Monroe says the hurtful comments have since been removed from the file. He thinks the physiotherapist should lose his job. At the very least, Monroe wants an apology. Michelle Bernoro, CTV News.